Hi everyone, it's Alejandra, and in this video I'm gonna share with you everything that I have inside of my dining room um, cabinet for everything related to entertaining. So this is the cabinet that I have um, all of my entertaining supplies that I'm gonna show you everything, but this is the exact piece of furniture that I had inside my home office in um, a lot of my previous videos that a lot of people ask where it's from. So I got it from Ikea about two or three years ago, and I love it because all the drawers just, they slide really nicely, and the cabinets down here, you just push them, and they open and then you, to close them you just push them again. It's great. It, I've had it for three years and it's just working wonderfully. So everything that I have inside my dining room is related to entertaining. Um, I don't keep this stuff in the kitchen because it's all related to entertaining which I do inside the dining room. So let me show you what I have inside here. So down here on the bottom shelf I have all of my linens. So like napkins, tablecloths, um, like right here I have two sets of napkins and I organize them by um, like type and what set they belong to. It's so like all the floral, all the solids are back there. And then over here I have all of my round tablecloths for our round table in the dining room. And then over here I have all of the rectangular tablecloths for our kitchen table because our kitchen table is rectangle, rectangular. <laughs> Um, and then on the bottom shelf here, I put adhesive, sh adhesive shelf liner to kind of give it a pop of color. I felt like everything was so dark inside this cabinet and I kind of wanted to lighten it up. So putting a shelf liner did the trick. And this took, adding shelf liner and trying to get it without bubbles takes so long to do. I think each shelf took maybe like 30 minutes or something to do. So it was a lot of time, but it's worth it because it just looks pretty and it just gives it a pop of color. So up here I have um, like a little bar kit, a, a cocktail set. I have more uh, napkins um, for, you know, napkins. And then here I have drink koozies and all the containers, like I tried to use clear ones so I could immediately see um, what is inside what right when I open the cabinet. This I just reused from another area of the house. And then at the very top of the drawer up here, I have napkin rings. Um, so two sets here. And then I have all of the plastic. This is like picnic wear and um, just like plastic flatware and stuff. And I sorted everything into um, like by category. So all the knives are here, all of the forks are here, and then all the spoons are right here. And I put them inside of Ziploc bags so nothing gets dusty when they're away in storage and um, they're just clean next time you use them. All right, so over here I have, um, I have a lot of sugar and I sorted them by category because we had so many different varieties, but I like to put them out whenever we have company over because everybody likes a different type of sugar. So there's regular sugar, there's stevia, there's Splenda, there's Equal. Um, yeah, so there's just like so much. And the dividers I use here, they're just clear little um, dividers just like this. They are made for like, home office supplies or kitchen supplies. So I just reused them for my office. And I didn't label anything because, I don't know, I just opened it and I could see what is what. And plus I feel like if I added labels, everything would have been covered because these are kind of high, these are kind of high, these are kind of high. So yeah, that's what I did. And then if you feel like your dividers or your, um, your organizers are sliding, what you can do is put a piece of museum putty on the very bottom of the organizer and then stick it to the bottom of the drawer. The museum putty will hold it in place so when you open the drawer, nothing is gonna slide back. But I feel like nothing is sliding back, so I didn't do that. Okay, so on the other side of the cabinet, I have more entertaining supplies. So in here, I have, down here, in this container, there's plastic cups for, um, again, for entertaining. They're all wrapped in plastic so nothing gets dirty while they're in storage. And then in the middle here, I have all the plastic, um, not plastic, paper goods like for picnics and barbecues and stuff. And again, everything is in a jumbo size Ziploc bag so it doesn't get dusty. Then over here, I have so many napkins because I, um, I did a decoupage project like last year and we used like rainbow colored napkins. Now I have so many sets of napkins, but um, all the napkins are in Ziploc bags. So again, nothing gets dirty or dusty. Um, and then I organized these ones vertically so you can just pull it out and look up and immediately see everything you have. Okay, and then over here I have a Lazy Susan with um, little airplane bottles. So I like to make cocktails, like I like trying new recipes for different cocktails, but I don't wanna buy like a full bottle of something if the cocktail's not gonna come out 
tasty. So I just buy small ones and then try making them. And if I like them, you know, we can get something bigger. Um, over here, I have all of my straws. So I'm a big straw person. I love using straws for like juices, smoothies, um, cocktails. So there's like these really thick straws. These are fun for smoothies or um, milkshakes. And then there's smaller straws here and then um, coffee stirrers right there. And then here is a silverware organizer. So whenever I have a party, I'll put the knives here, the spoons here, the forks here, the napkins here. So that's only for entertaining purposes. Then paper cups, just for fun. I don't know why. Um, and that is everything. So I have the shelf liner down here. Again, that took a long time to do. The shelf liner is from TJ Maxx. It's by the Macbeth Collection. And um, it comes in different colors. And then up here in this drawer, I have all of the hot plates are over here. So these are all from Ikea. There's three different sizes. And what's cool about these hot plates is if you don't need to use them for hot plates, you can mount them to the wall in the office or in the kitchen and use them as corkboard squares um, to like hang, a, hang an invitation, hang a card, hang a piece of paper. And they are super cheap at Ikea. So those stay here. Um, matches. So. Ed and I love to collect matches every time we go to restaurants or travel somewhere. We always bring them back. So all of our matches are here for candles, pebbles for, um, for decorating or for vases, for flowers are right here. I keep them in a baggie so they don't get dusty. And then all the tea lights for, um, for candles when you have parties and stuff is over here. So there's regular tea lights and then there's these um, these battery operated tea lights, just like that. And these are actually, these are from Pier One, but I've actually seen them at the dollar store. So you can get them cheap. Okay, so that is everything inside of the buffet. What you wanna do when you're organizing your dining room is keep everything that's related to entertaining in the space. Um, instead of keeping those things in the kitchen, since you do all your entertaining in the dining room, you wanna have everything nice and accessible. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to show you inside the dining room. I hope this video was helpful. And if you want more organizing tips and videos, you can visit my website at alejandra.tv. I'll see you soon. Bye.